Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Z Tizzle, and today I'm going to be doing something pretty new. Uh, it's going to be a Unity 3D tutorial. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a main menu. So first, I'm just going to make a new project. Let me just set it where I want it. I've got a folder for all my Unity projects. Most we'll name it Tutorial. Yeah, that's right. And I'm just going to import everything just so. Um, I'm just going to be using this. I'm going to keep doing these tutorials. Right now I'm just going to be teaching you how to make a main menu, but I'm just going to import all these, except bootcamp. But I'm going to import all these just in case I need them later. So here we go, and I will be right back after all these import. Alright, so here we are. So, um, I'm actually not going to need mobile assets. So we'll just delete that. But here we go. So we've got the main camera here. We can just zoom in on that. But what we want to do here is, uh, well, first we want to just make a folder called Scene. So we can put all our scenes in there. Then we'll just save this scene in our scene folder. And we'll just call it Main, main Menu. And there's our scene. It's already loaded, of course. So from here we want to create a plane. This will be the background of the main menu. So we just want it to take up here, let me Darn, I don't have a black texture really. Well anyway, we'll fix that in a minute. Um I'll just make one. But as you can see here the main camera, you can see what the camera is seeing. So right now it is seeing all of the plane, but I want to move it a bit closer. Just so Make sure we don't see any of the edge of the plane and make it a bit larger. So here we go. We'll just call this, well, we'll just leave it named plane. Now we want to make a empty game object called menu controller. And then from here we want to, well, you don't have to do this, but you can make a folder called scripts just to stay organized. Make a, where is it, JavaScript, name it main menu. And let's just open this up. So from here, we can go into... I want to make a new function. Call it on GUI. And just add the brackets. So from here, we want to say if GUI dot button. I believe this is right. And we want to do rect1 and then we put our text right here so we'll say start game so from here I'm actually going to open up my other main menu script which is right here I believe yeah and I'll just I'll teach you I'll show you what all this stuff means but I just need to copy something over whoops it's actually not there it's in menu stuff Main, main menu. So here it is. So here's basically what it's going to look like once we're done. But we want this stuff. So we'll just go here and paste these here. So you want to make these private so that they're not... Well, you can make them public, but you want to make them private. I make them private so that they're not editable in the, uh, in the editor over here. But... Button width is the width of the button. Button height is the height of the button. And then these two hundreds here, these are the how many pixels over and down the uh, the button is. So I'll show you here. It's x y width height. That's about that right. H i g t h. I, I'm not good at spelling at all, but this means that it is, it's, oops, it's 200, oops, it's 200 pixels over and then down 200 pixels. So we can make, because we'll have two buttons, we'll just say private var rect2 equals, and then I'll just copy this, so I don't have to type it again. But here we'll go over 200 and then down 350, whoops down 350. So if you click, so GUI button, I'm, I'm guessing you know a little bit about scripting, but if you don't, 
GUI button means that it creates a button that you can click on. And you say if GUI button, which means if you click on the button, then do this stuff. So we we'll want to say application dot dang it dot load level. And then we'll say one. I'll show you what that means in just a minute. And then we want to make another button if GUI dot button with rectangle two and we want to call this or make it say exit game and then if we click on that application dot quit and that is about it let me make sure there's no errors or anything there shouldn't be no and this stuff's just I don't even know what it means really but if we just click well here first let's Minimize that, make a new material. You can make a folder for materials if you want to, but make a new material, we'll just call it black. And then we can click here and make it black. So now we've got a black material. And we can just drag that onto there. And if we hit play, nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Because we have not attached the script to the menu controller. So just drag main menu onto the menu controller. And now it should show our buttons. Yep. So if we click start game, level one cannot be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings. I'll show you what that means in just a second. And then if we click exit game, it'll exit the game. And just to make sure that works, we'll just add debug.log game. Oops. Dang it. That's, I don't, I don't even care if that's not spelled right. But then if we go in here, dang it, I always forget semicolons. Now if we hit play, we click on exit game, game has exited. So, you know, uh, it, in the Unity player, in the application, it doesn't actually exit it. So, yeah, so f for that error that we got earlier, the game, uh, scene one is not in the build settings. For this, we just want to click Add Current. So now we've got, as you can see, Scenes in Build. This is Scene 0. So that's the first scene. It will open whenever you do that. So now we want to make a new scene. We want to save changes. Now for this, we can just delete the main camera. Well, actually, we need to make a plane first. This is just going to be a basic scene. Just, you know, a game that you can walk around in. Just to make sure that everything's working right. And then we'll save this scene as scene one. Looks good. And now we want to do the same thing for this one. Just add the current scene. So now we've got scene one. So now if we go back to the oops, um, the main menu scene, we hit play, and you click on start game, it loads your scene one. So that's about it. Uh, if you want to, I'll show you this. If you want to, you can make this smaller. You can make it, uh, if it, I mean, you can make it, I'll just try 250, not 2500. And it puts it there, as you can see. And you can move these around anywhere you want. If you want it to be in the middle of the screen, um, just put half of your screen. So mine's 12 by 8, so it'd be 400. And we'll just do the same thing for this. And we open that up, and it should be right here in the middle. It might be a bit over. Yeah, because it's in the Unity player. Wait, what am I saying? It's, 12, it's 1,200 by 400, so it'd be 600 by... Not 600. 600, 200, okay. That should work. Yep, it's right in the middle here. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching, and comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing some more of these, like maybe doing just a little like flashlight tutorial or just different stuff, uh, because I have used Unity, so I've made a game in it, and I'm making another game in it. But uh, thank you for watching, and comment, rate, and subscribe for more.